class is in session. The professor is in. It's time for some Whaley Wonka. We got the six star gold account maxed completely to the brim. We got Mick Foley Hall of Fame. We're going to whale out on him. We got both gears, so we are going to generate three more juggernaut gems for each juggernaut move and plus four MP with both of his gears. Uh, oh, we're not ready to go on the road yet. Not yet, sir. Uh, we have Fury 2's 100% gem damage trap because we're whaling out. We're going to put on the Gremlin's ears, so we're going to get 100% for two turns for red gems, which is what we're looking for. And we're going to put the Sheriff's Badge on since it's more common. Uh, whenever we break 15 or more red gems, generate 30 yellow, but this works probably even better and will hit even harder with a Seance Ghostbuster plate. Uh, move buys, we're going to put out the sub, the Mr. Socko sub, and then we're going to put out the double arm DDT, two handed bulldog. Both of these juggernaut gems are going to be our friends for this one. Because we have plus four MP, we just need Cena and his 45% yellow move or yellow gem damage, and plus two for the yellow move points, and that'll get us all going. Sherry, the monster Hogan. Uh, as well as uh, having Zombie Bianca, because we're going to create three more red gems from each one of those juggernauts that we're doing. And yes, this is the Monster Santa, so I will take him off here. We do have tour perks, so just so you can get a sense of what he can do without an 18,000 boost. Let's bro. Let's Whaley Wonka. Big shout out to Sir Zorro for the build. Thanks as always, bro. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to do the two-handed bulldog, the 5 MP red move. Put all the juggernauts down randomly and then hit the sub. It's not going to override any of them because it's less than 49 total gems. And so the hope is that our opponent does not get their moves off for the next turn. So they're going to swipe and as long as they don't pin us, we are in good shape. We are now going to hit the other Juggernaut Gem, and that's going to turn these into Multiply Gems. So the more Multiply Gems we have on the board, the better things will get. Uh, you just At this point, you just swipe. As long as you don't get pinned, we're in good shape. We don't get pinned. It's going to turn all those into Multiplies, and then turn all those red, blow up the board, and then the Sheriff's Badge with all these turn in yellow. Smack, dab, 98 million down to 88 million. Now this can fluctuate and we'll do it one more time. The fluctuation is of course from the amount of gems obviously that you're going to be able to cascade, but also the amount of uh, juggernaut gems left or the amount of sub gems that turn into silence gems that turn then into multiply gems. So depending on all of those factors, you could hit this a lot harder, but still wailing out this is an easy 100 million so let's let's bro one more time through and show the danger so there is that danger there is that danger that your opponent cascades you into a pin and then you lose all of your ability and during your <laughs> kick out all of your gems uh all of your juggernaut gems will go off and set this all on fire but as long as this all stays on the board, or as much of it stays on the board as possible. That's left us with a, a good chunk. He does not get his turn off. We get a red boost from the first set of Juggernaut Gems. We'll get a second red boost from them. Swipe. He swipes, and now we turn all of those into 14s. And we blow up all up. Pretty good cascade, all yellows from the Sheriff's Badge. With another big cascade there, and that right there was 112 million down to 101. So you can see just the fluctuation between how many Silence Gems are left and how many uh, of the, the cascading of gems will actually be. So there you go, that's Hall of Fame Mick Foley wailed out in the wonkiest way possible. Thanks for coming to class. We'll see you next time. Brofessor out.